Beautiful, beautiful song by the young Benita Okoje. <laughs> I love that song. It's really, really, really beautiful and inspirational. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bridgie. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well today. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have you subscribed? Please support us by subscribing. We put in a lot of effort. It's only fellow content creators that know the amount of time, energy, resources that goes into producing these videos. So. The only way you can support us is to subscribe, like and share the videos and also watch the ads because without the ads, we don't get paid. And a lot of people believe that YouTube payment is so much that, you know, you will get so much. Maybe for, I mean, people who have like a million subscribers or 500 and above, but for those of us who are still trying to find our feet on YouTube, I tell you, the hustle is real. <laughs> the hustle is real. It is not easy. If not for passion, I guess what? YouTube has introduced tax uh, taxing for creators who live outside the US. So they're going to start tasking us from summer. So uh, I envisage that a lot of people are going to drop out of YouTube because it's not going to be the little you were getting before. Just forget it now because they're going to task you heavily on it. So you get little or nothing, you know. So it is now that we're going to know who those who are actually doing YouTube for the passion. And for the message that they, that they are sharing or just for the little change that they are getting. Anyway, we'll see. Today, guys, I want to share with you a story. This is something that happened to uh, a member of the Obodo farm. So I'm going to try as much as possible to make it anonymous. I got an email uh, a few weeks ago. And it was a young man, and he said, "Anti B, I need to talk to you. It's urgent." The way, and when I, anytime I say a message like that, the person saying it's urgent, I usually panic, you know. So I worry, like, what is it? And you know, the young man also sent me a message on Instagram and said, "Oh, I emailed you. Please, I need to talk to you. It's it's a matter of utmost urgency. Can you please uh, call me on this number?" Uh, I sent him a message and I said, "Can you talk?" And he said, "Yes." And then I called him, and then we had this long chat. And this is what he said. Basically, what he was saying, why he needed that advice as quickly as possible was because he was in a fix. Because he was pressured into a marriage that he didn't want by his family, i.e. his mother and his uh, brothers and sisters pressured him into a marriage because the girl that he wanted him to marry and ultimately uh, give... Uh, permanent residence to by marriage is a friend of the family like you know is the mom's friend's daughter so the mom's friend's daughter uh was in nigeria and i don't know or he didn't say he, that he's aware that this is an arrangement between both mothers but i think the way they orchestrated the whole thing it became it, be, it became clear to him that this was planned because she came to the abroad and she was meant to come for studies or whatever and then she was living with them and at a point it became something that was like okay they start dating we're encouraging him to date and you know she said he said she was nice to him he was cooking and you know boys once they see food they go forget themselves so <laughs> they started dating and then the talk came up came up about how or oh, you know uh, she 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 needs uh, to regularize her stay because she hasn't got permanent residence so that she will not be deported and everything and he said he knew that this was not going to be the right relationship for him to, in terms of long term because they were always fighting she said they were always arguing all the time that you know they were not compatible basically he said a lot of things that happened in the relationship even while they were living together in the mom's house then eventually he left the mom's house and moved out and still they were off and on but there was no time apart from the initial period where they started you know dating and sleeping together that the thing was happy for him so he said he was troubled in his heart he was like hey now he feels obligated because he's already started a relationship with this girl 
but he knows within him that this thing is not going to work there's no future in it because they are not compatible they are always arguing they're always fighting but how how is he going to get out of it without hurting anybody because you know when it's something that is family that you know like this it is kind of delicate because you are wondering how am i going to hurt that auntie that i'm dating the daughter if i don't marry her so sometimes people young people can become very confused and some of them will make the wrong decision by saying okay whatever let me just go ahead with it because i don't want to offend my mom's friend so cut a long story short they got married the marriage he said was because she needed to stabilize her stay and it was only by marriage that that could be done quickly but he said that even when they were married they didn't it wasn't peaceful they were always arguing and he confessed to me that he too he was looking out and talking to other girls and she found out and that became a big problem as well i said why did you talk to other girls what were you chatting with other girls he said because you know as far as he was concerned it wasn't going to work with them and he wasn't in love with her because the argument you know it's like the time they were happy you know it's less than the time they were arguing and fighting and everything that sometimes they even got physical you know and i chided him for that i said there was no need for that you could have just been matured and i said to him but how old do you say you are again <laughs> i had to double check because when he was talking i was like okay okay but how old do you say you are again for you to say that you actually went and did signed registry or whatever uh go to the courthouse to go and sign papers to marry because of pressure because to me it seems like okay if you are a man one of the qualities that make you qualified to marry or to mature to say that you want to marry is the ability to make up your own mind and to make your own decisions if somebody even your own mother is still making decisions for you and you feel pressure to do something because you know it's my mother it's my mother's friend and you know everybody my brother and sister are they are saying i should do it i should do it then it means you're not mature enough to marry yet because it means that you are not in control of your decision making process people are still making decisions for you basically because they are pressuring you to do things you don't want to do because it was saying that before they even did the marriage the so-called marriage so that you can get papers that they were fighting like cat and mouse i said okay he told me his age i said okay you still have a lot of maturing to do i don't know if you guys are aware of this but being a mother i can tell you that women mature way faster than than boys if you have boys and girls just look at their, their, their level of maturity a girl who is 20 years old would be more mature but a young man of 20 years old will be behaving like he's, he's, he's 15. <laughs> women mature more than men yeah women mature more quickly than men that's 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 a given i don't know if it's scientifically proven but from my own personal experience of my children i know that women mature more than men so i said to him i said well you made the first mistake you made was that because you like the girl. She was living in your mom's house. She was cooking for you and taking care of you. You got carried away. And then you were getting it free because, you know, she was there and you started enjoying yourself with her. You were sleeping with her. So you got hooked and now you felt guilty. That's why you went ahead to marry her. So basically he was saying that the reason why he felt like he needed to talk to me so frantically was because he wanted to know if he was making the right decision by going to divorce. Now they were going to divorce. And the marriage was it wasn't even up to one year and he was saying am i making the right choice am i making that he was being made to feel guilty that you know it's his fault that if she doesn't get her papers it's his fault if she's deported and i'm just gonna say this parents please don't do that hmm? ninja parents please don't do that don't do that allow your children to make their own choices i'm not saying don't introduce her though if you introduce your friend's daughter or your friend's son to your daughter or your friend's daughter to your son and they have chemistry and they get along and you know they eventually decide to get married that's a different thing don't pressure your children to marry uh, your family friend or your friend because you want to keep it in the family it is wrong it is wrong if you were pressured and this is one of the, the things that the boy pointed out that his own childhood he thought that you know the experience of how he grew up and the relationship that the mom had with the dad made he, that he was disappointed with the mom because he felt that the mom should have known better because he was not raised by the mom he was raised by a member of the family because of issues with the dad so the mom, mom had to leave him and travel so i said to him is she pregnant she's not pregnant is she 
Because that would be like uh, another thing that would complicate the whole thing. He said, No, thank God she's not pregnant. I said, Okay, good. What is your heart telling you? What is your heart telling you about this situation? Don't just wait for me to tell you what to do because this is what landed you in the first position that you are in now because you were waiting for people to convince you to compel you and so literally blackmail you to doing something you know is the wrong thing because you told me you already have an issue before you went out to marry this girl you felt obligated because you were you were shagging her so she said uh, no he feels he's doing the right thing he's standing up to his mother and the sister and the brother and the whole family he doesn't care what anybody's going to say that he now knows that he's had some time away to reflect and he feels that he's doing the right thing because he's too young to get into all this kind of wahala relationships that he knows that you know there's no future that even if they end up staying together it will still break because they argue too much like literally on everything they always argue they don't say eye to eye there's zero compatibility I said, okay. So if your heart is telling you that, then you already know what to do. You don't need me to tell you what to do. You should just thank your stars that she's not pregnant here. There's no child between you. So this divorce, the marriage was fake marriage anyway. It's married for papers. So the divorce is like a God sent. God sent. Hmm? This is what you should do without thinking twice or blinking. Quickly. Go and sign those divorce papers and move on with your life. And please, I told him, I said, don't rush into any marriage or any relationship. Take some time. You need a lot of growing because the way you are talking to me and what you, all the things that you are telling me, if you go and marry, eh, you are not ready. You, you still need to mature. There are so many things you need to learn about life. So you are still young. Take some time to mature, you know, develop yourself and your mind. Be your own man. Women like men that are their, a man's man. You are assertive. You know what you want. It doesn't mean that you should be rugged. Though. Um, it doesn't mean that you should be rigid. And so rigid that you cannot be, uh, you cannot see reason or you, you cannot um, see other people's point of view. But have your own stand. Know what you believe in, what you stand for. And take other people's opinion into consideration. But at the end of the day, it's your life. So say to yourself, this is my life. This is what I'm going to do. So I advise him. I say, don't rush into any marriage. You are not ready, my dear. If you marry now, it won't work because you are too immature. And he said, okay, thank you, auntie. His head, his head. He's, 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 that he was thinking about it. He already knows that he's doing the right thing. Now he feels bad. I said, don't worry. Your mom loves you. Whatever happens at the end of the day, he's, she's probably feeling bad because of her friend that she's promised that uh, maybe childhood friends, they promise each other, each other. You know how they are back home in Africa where they will say, oh, my son will marry your daughter. All those kind of things. So now she's feeling bad because the girl would have told her mom that you dated and you even got married and it didn't work. Don't worry. She'll get over it. She's your mom. She'll forgive you. She loves you. So don't worry about it. This is about your life and your future. And I think you're making the right decision. Just move on with your life because you're not compatible. So I'm just going to summarize by saying, parents, eh? African parents, please, don't pressure your children into relationships that they are not interested in. Don't force your daughter to go and marry somebody they don't like. Just because of the benefits so many girls are going into marriages that the men they don't even like because maybe the mom told them that that family is influential they have money you know it's like arranged marriages that you see it's, there's no chemistry between them they don't even like each other but it's like the families both families have agreed that okay because of the long-term relationship we've had a marriage between my daughter and your son will solidify our relationship our union and will become family i don't believe in that that's crap please See, uh, marriage is tough on its own. You don't need any other complication of forcing people to make go and marry people that they don't really care about, that they don't want to spend their life with. Allow your children to make their own choices. If they bring somebody home and say, this is the person, mom, dad, this is the person I love, I want to marry. Just, you know, of course, as a parent, you need to ask the right questions to make sure that, you know, they're not jumping into a fry pan. Make sure that the person, you know, is right for them in a way, but... Don't force them into relationships that they don't want. All because of family relationships and friendship. It's not right. This is my own personal opinion. I know some people might not agree, but I've just said it as it is. So, I think by now they will be happily divorced and everybody will go their own way. And he was saying to me that the thing that he, that he feels bad about is the fact that now, if he wants to marry again, his record will indicate that he's been divorced at his young, young age, that he's not happy about it. I said, well... Just be honest. Anybody you meet in the future that you intend to get serious with, don't lie. Don't say you've never been married. Just tell them, okay, you know, there was a situation that happened and, you know, I got together with this girl, but it wasn't the right fit for me. And, you know, we ended up calling it quits. 
if the woman really loves you she will understand so don't just lie about it or hide it and then the woman will find out later then that will become a problem so that was my advice and i'm sharing it with you because i want african parents especially those of you who are you know who've got children that are matured enough to get married don't please allow them to just make their choices it is always better than you interfering and you know matchmaking people that are not suitable for each other yeah people do match make but you know at the end of the day the decision to marry or not to marry should be between the two people especially the guy and the woman as well to say oh this guy i like him i think we'll make each other happy so don't force it anything you force does not last that's my point anyway i'm just gonna leave it here with you guys today do leave me your thoughts in the comment section and i shall speak to you in my next video are you in an arranged marriage or do you know someone what is your experience? I'd like to hear from you. And I shall speak to you in my next video. I love you. Bye-bye.